Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. And today I'm going to teach you about how to make doodles into fine art. Right now I'm showing you an example of a doodle that I did a while ago that I have turned into prints that I sell on Etsy and Zulily and it's turned into other products as well. Um, here is another print or painting. And it's just basically two colors, it's blue and gold. Here's another example of a doodle. This I've used in many products. Um, yeah, and you can just frame it and put it on your wall as fine art. So let's get started. Today, I you know, just have your paint, blank paper here. It's just uh, you know, you don't have to use expensive paper. I can get this cheap Canson paper at Walmart pretty cheaply or other stores. Uh, pick out a couple of brushes you can uh, use. I have this Windsor & Newton cotton and brush number 8. I also have this Princeton uh, Filbert number 8 oval brush small. Um, I got a Sharpie pen. There's the regular ultra fine point and then these ones that I love that are the Sharpie um, pens that are non-bleeding pens. And you know, you have paint colors. Um, today I'm gonna use blues, greens, aquas, maybe some yellows, I don't know, we'll see. I kind of do everything intuitively. I don't really plan things out color-wise. I just kind of go with it and that's how I normally work. Um, if I have to plan it out color-wise, it's because a specific client wanted those colors. But generally I don't do that. So, this is really easy. Anybody can do this, let me tell you that. If you can make a circle, you can make a semicircle. So I'm going to start out mixing some of my Dr. P.H. Martin's Ice Blue with some green paint to make it like an aqua color. And I'm using a long round Princeton brush and the Elite series. So let's just make some simple half moons. depending on how much color is on your brush. Just make the simple moons. I mean, your kids could do this. Even young as five could probably do this. Now I put the same color in a row. Sometimes you might not choose to do that. I'm going to grab another aqua and I'm taking a blue paint that I have oh, these Japanese watercolors and making it bluer. The Japanese, I think it's spelled kiratek or kiratek, I can't remember how to pronounce it. They're more opaque watercolors. So again, some half moons. that good the lighting is kind of not so great there we go and we'll paint up there I would even pull in some grays neutral color is a gray I'm just going to show you a small area because I'm not going to do this whole th page. That would be kind of crazy. They don't have to be perfect. In fact, if it's not perfect, the better. They don't all have to be in a line. If you want to do that, you could do that. And that would be kind of cool too. You could have them all on the same line. Rainbow colors. Whatever colors you choose. Excuse me, I'm still mixing paint here. The variety is actually better. Once you have finished all the half circles that you want to do, now you're going to take a small skinny brush. This is a Grumbacher Golden Edge number two. Mm. 
And this is where the fun begins. You take darker values now, midtones. And so you go into the gray. And you make another line here. And same here. Over here. This is where it's the, the doodle part. You can go in and take a deeper aqua blue. Here. And over here. Randomly sticking darker colors in the half half moons half circles so you see if you can make the shape which I think anybody can you can easily start to do something like this without little or no effort and take a darker green and you do a bunch of lines let me just go a little closer so you can see there's the blue get a really deep blue and you do the lines just up if you were sitting watching TV, making a bunch of lines. Mm 